remember being about like four or five years old begging mum for piano lessons and I had a really, really awful crappy Yamaha. That I played piano when I was very young and kind of just kept on from there. I've still got the little stickers with the notes on it. wrote the first track for Arcadia called Meta and it was all in my CS6X Yamaha which is a 90s synth and that's kind of been the heart of all of our music. Not many people use that synth or have that synth so it already sounds kind of original. Since we have our own little um, collection of gear it's a lot of fun to get them to interact with each other in a lot of ways. It's like taking the MS-20 and putting its external uh, signal in from all sorts of other sources and just playing with everything until it starts to create sounds which you know no one else can really... Well, not that they can't make, but... Uh, it's hard to replicate. Yeah, it's hard to replicate. We have a song that we've been working on called Coffee, which is just literally this coffee machine. You open it and close it onto a pot and it makes a cool sound and kind of turn that into a beat. The micro Korg, it was given to me by a friend. It's simple, it's light, it's portable, and it does what I need it to do. It's just used for accent sounds and uh, fill-in sounds. I really love the MS-20 Mini. I love the fact that it's semi-modular. It's really nice to be able to patch everything in, have that kind of control over it, it's really fun. The filters on it are just incredible. They're so grainy and textural, and you can really distort them and make it kind of warble. And uh, get really ugly really quickly. Little drum machine by Teenage Engineering. It's got this like super cute little man on it who's actually using a sewing machine and when you make beats he like starts making his little sewing and you can pick the sounds you want and change it. We've recorded a few things into it and kind of chopped the sounds up and stuff and, and another great thing about it is you can set it as an alarm clock so it wakes you up in the morning. Oh, Waldo four pole filter that I bought on Facebook and the internals were actually flipped around. I someone had pulled it apart and tried to put it back together and couldn't do it. But it's beautiful. It's much more compared to the filters in the MS20, it's much more uh, kind of silky and acidy. My Yamaha CS6X, it's a beast of a thing. It took me about two days to work out how to save a sound for the vocoder. The really cool thing about it is that you can you can divide the synth into four different parts so I can have four different sounds and play them all at the same time which is really great for a live setup. I got it when I was 10 years old and at the time I hated it because I didn't know how to use it properly and so I wanted to throw it away and then when I went to SAE my teacher was like do not throw this away like you're gonna love this in a little bit.